Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to another video, Resurrect Autos HQ, which as you can see, looks really bare with no stock in a minute, guys. I need to get some more stock in. Um, yeah, so where we are. Uh, so the Fiesta is just gone to the paint shop uh, last couple of days. It's now ready, so I'm gonna go over, pick it up, bring it back to the uh, bring it back to the, the workshop, and then we can continue with that car, get it finished, get it up for sale, and yeah, do you know what I mean? Just move on to the next one. But if anyone's interested in that Fiesta, just give me a message, shout me out. I'm not quite sure what the money is at the moment. I've got a couple of people interested in it, people messaging me, so I will get back to them first. But um, yeah, I'll uh, just get that one done. But as you can see, it's just. <sighs> Just empty, just, just well weird, well weird. Not been like this um, much over the last few months, but um, yeah, we'll get some more stocking, guys. But I have been looking every week, but in, in, most of you know when it comes to salvage, if the money's not there um, and if, if they don't go for the right price, they're not worth getting. And exactly what's been happening, and I've been bidding on, well, the wife. Mrs. Resurrect, the wife, been bidding on cars every single week. But, you know, um, I, I, I've got a form that we fill out um, and uh, everything gets put down in that form. And then the bottom line, if the money, if that, that's, that's our maximum budget for the, for the hammer price for the cars, if they, if they go over that, we don't touch them. We just leave them, let them go. Um, so, yeah, so that's where we are, guys, with, with the actual stock. Um, but, and obviously the Abarth, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that the, the, um, the Abarth 595, um, Turismo has gone off to the other shop, the other guy that I use to get it pulled, uh, and get that front end repaired, um, and get that panel, side panel welded on, uh, and all that sort of side of it done. And then it come back to me and then I can carry on doing it because I just, you know, I need to get like a jig, really. Like, do you know one of those jigs that go like like that, and you can you can move it about and, and bend it and, and and stuff like that. I need to get one of them, really, because that'll help out. Even with the slightest little pull, that would help out massively. So, yep, I'll probably be looking at one of them over the next couple of couple of months or um, or whatever. I prefer one of those, really, compared to a ramp, like because you know um, I'm I'm doing all right without a ramp at the minute, but I will eventually have to get some sort of ramp. But they take up so much space. Like, I'll have to put it right in the middle, and then that, that's gone, that end. And, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it will help out, guys. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, yeah, it'll save your back. It'll save your joints. In the long run, it'll be better. It will be. I, I guarantee, I, you know, I completely agree with you. Um, but for the minute, um, I'm doing all right. So, anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's get over to the paint shop. Let's pick this Fiesta up. Let's bring it back. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a walk around. Let's get it finished, up for sale. Let's do this. Wow, guys, <laughs> look at that. That is a great match. They've absolutely nailed it. So yeah, I am super happy with that. That looks really good. And believe it or not, I'm, I am getting used to these wheels. It's really, really ground me, these wheels. <clears throat> I like the color. Yeah. <clears throat> This is a nice one, I like this. We have got some bits and pieces to do around the car, as you can see. Little uh, little touch-ups here and there. So, but even this original, this, this original bumper that come with the car is slightly different to that, to the metalwork, but we always know that because obviously being plastic and being metal, it just slight, the shade is slightly different, but you can just tell, you can just see it. But um, the front, <laughs> you can't even really tell. To be honest with you, it's really, really good. Yeah, so good. So there we go. We have got some, I've got some dents around this car that I want to try and pull. 
there's one here you can just see it look there so I'm gonna get that little uh, I've got like a little pulling machine like you, you glue little tabs to it and you, you pull them out I think you've seen me use it before um, there's a few bits and pieces around the car so I want to just try and do the best I can with it and try and sort of just keep playing with it and keep making it um yeah as, as, as the best I can really um, so yeah there we go that's the car done painted but not complete because we've still got to do some bits and pieces around the front bumper um, put it all back together uh, line it all back up make sure it's good and then today MOT MOT and I don't want this to go to come foul or go through any advisories because the history of this car is just amazing so I want to try and keep it like that and keep keep it keep it going um, and um, <clears throat> yeah try and get it through with any no problems and no advisories so there we go that's enough waffling them wheels look really cool I do like them there look smart and they got like a little <clears throat> they got like a little um like a little fleck to it like a little um uh what do they call it it's like a metallic um yeah they got like a metallic color to them <clears throat> look pretty good now yeah look smart right anyway again guys enough waffling let me get her in to lock up we'll we'll, we'll sort out the front end um, and then we're just going to go over the whole car get it all sorted get it all ready for the mot take down the mot center let's see what happens um but for now i'll come back to you in a bit yeah <laughs>
So there we go. I think she's ready for the MOT, guys. I've checked it all over, done all the church checks, done all the looks, uh, make sure everything's working, lights. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I think we're there. I've checked this, the front springs, um, cause obviously the wheels are off. I've checked that before. So I know they're good. They haven't broken like the last one. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's ready to go. So I think I've got a bit of time before it goes to the MOT center. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a look at these little, these little dents here there see if I can pull these out and have a little play with it um, I think there's another one on the back you just see me do that <laughs> standard uh, where is it? there's another one there's another one here I can't, I can't even bloody see it now um, it's I'm sure it's here somewhere is here somewhere. Um, yeah, so I think there's one on each side, but I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, might as well just touch up these little bits here as well on the, on the corner of the bumper. They're going to probably need a little bit of uh, a couple of goes um, with that paint. Yeah, just touching it up. So just to build up, just to build up the paint on it a little bit. So might as well do that as well. Um, yeah, and then we'll we'll pull her out and um, MOT it soon. And then once you get MOT done, it's just a matter of clean, a real good clean in and out. And then, and that's it, it's up for sale. It's done, it's finished. Um, I'm also going to be looking at some more vehicles this week. Do need some stock, guys. I've got the, a bath that's been sent to the other shop, but I still need to get some stock in. Um, need to look at some other cars. But um, like I've said to you before, I'm always looking for cars. I've always got cars in my watch list. Uh, but at the end of the day, if they go up too high, then they're not, um, then I'm not, I won't be getting them. So it's as simple as that. Um, but no, they don't all go, up, all go up high. This one didn't go up too high. Um, so yeah, there, there, there's always there's always cars out there. Um, I have been looking at one that's a little bit further out, to be honest with you, which is a Doncaster. It's a little bit of a trek, but um, yeah, it might be a little bit of a doozy to get because uh, it's quite a quite an uh, uh, it's a rare car. Um, they didn't make too many of them um, in the UK. I think they only made 500 of them. Um, so, yeah, and I don't think there's many left. Um, it's a bit of an older car, to be fair. It's like an, uh, 2008, 2000, 2008, 2009 Reg car. But, yeah, it was a, a bit of a, a special edition uh, vehicle. So I might be looking at that, but I'll, I will keep you informed. And obviously, if you, if you follow me on Instagram, guys, you will know... Uh, the cars that I'll pick up or win uh, because I'll just put them on there for you guys to have a look at before they go on the channel. So, yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram uh, where you'll get some uh, yeah behind-the-scenes sneak peeks and stuff like that about what I'm doing during the day and what I'm getting. So, anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's crack on and let's, um, yeah, let's do a few bits and pieces before this goes for the MOT. Right, okay guys, that was pretty quick to be honest with you. Um, it's a, there is a slight little piece like left. I can't really see it now, where is it? Oh, it's there. Very, very slight now. But um, yeah, I'm super chuffed with that now because it just it, the majority of it's gone. So you can't really see it. And it's just it's just very slight. I can't even focus on it properly. It's so small. But it's, um, yeah, the majority of it's gone. So, happy with that. Job done. Another one ticked off the list. Okay, so next thing on the list is going to take this for the MOT. It's ready. It's timed up. So, let's go and um, let's go and take this over to the MOT centre. Let's find out what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, this is going to pass. And that's it. It's done. Clean it up and then up for sale. 
Oh, I've got to stick the number plate on, otherwise it will fail. <laughs> so let me stick the number plate on. MOT center, I'll come back, I'll let you know what happens. So I'll see you. It'll, for me, it's about an hour, an hour and a half. For you, it's gonna be a few seconds. <laughs> so I'll see you soon. Right, I am back from the MOT center and great news. We have a pass. There we go, all done. No advisories, straight through. Yeah, so that's fantastic news. So that's gonna be it. This is it, guys. We've just got, all I've got to do now is clean the inside, clean the outside, give it a final clean, get some photos done, and then up for sale she is. 2011, Ford Fiesta, 1.4, titanium, finished. And yeah, another car done, sorted at Resurrect Autos HQ, all sorted. So now, it's just a case of looking for some more more stock, you know, getting some more cars in, seeing what's out there, seeing what's around, and um, and yeah, see if I can win some cars. So there we go, it is done. But for now, that is gonna be it. Um, thanks for all the views, guys. Don't forget to drop me a comment. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like the content, that'd be fantastic. Uh, follow me on Instagram as well. Um, if, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see the cars that, um, that I've won that's coming up. Uh, on the channel and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, yeah, there we go. I'm all done. Thanks very much. And I'll see you on the next one.